This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Profit. UTI Mutual Fund, the oldest mutual fund house in the country. And today we have with us Mr. Jaydeep Bhattacharya, Group President and Chief Marketing Officer at UTI. Mr. Bhattacharya, firstly, thanks a lot for sparing this time, one of your rarest television interviews off lately. To begin with, if I could ask, now it's been almost five months after UK Sina had an exit from UTI and became the SEBI chairman. And you are one of those one members of the four member core team that has been formed by the board to look into the day to day FS. How is life at UTI after Mr. UK Sina's exit? Because he was there for a pretty long time of five years plus. Uh, just to uh, give you a small recap as to what's happening in the industry, uh, if you've seen the last quarter numbers, uh, equity flows have been neutered. Uh, from an industry perspective, uh, if you just look at the net sales in equity, it's close to 53 crores. Uh, compare that to UTI, uh, we have done more than 63 crores of net sales, which is perhaps bigger than the industry. Uh, on, the, on the debt side, of course, uh, liquidity is a, is a big squeeze as a result of which uh, we have not seen major movements uh, in, the, in the debt markets as far as the AUMs are concerned. And from a, from a number perspective, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, 31st uh, March numbers, uh, the industry is about 47,000 crores. Uh, going forward, especially on, on the debt side, uh, we see that the banking money is slowly moving out. Uh, on a peak, if you have seen, there were about 155,000 crores of bank money, and today, that number is close to 55,000 crores. And we feel that in the next couple of months, it's actually going to come down to uh, close to 30 to 35,000 crores of bank money. So essentially, uh, from an industry perspective, uh, uh, there is going to be tight liquidity. And on the equity side, because of the way the markets are poised, uh, we have not seen too many uh, retail investors coming to the market. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, UTI, uh, we have done uh, reasonably well in the form of uh, net sales. At the same time, uh, to increase the number of investors, we are taking lots of initiative by which we can get a lot of new investors to come into the equity markets through the mutual fund route. Okay. And how has been things at UTI? It's with, the, with Mr. UK Sinha, not at the M of FS? I think uh, Mr. Sinha, what he uh, did for UTI is essentially put the company in extremely strong foundation. And uh, he had invested a lot on people, and uh, I'm happy to say that there are a lot of high-quality people who are part of UTI. And uh, a lot of them have actually seen uh, what we are seeing in UTI thanks to Mr. Sinha. And um, I think um, if UTI does well, he's going to be a very happy man. Mr. Bhattacharya, as you're rightly pointing out how the way things have panned out for the mutual fund industry as a whole, how are you looking at this particular fiscal with the first quarter getting over in terms of growth, in terms of products, what is the game plan of UTI going to be going forward in the next three quarters? See, we've always believed that, especially in a country like India, where financial literacy is not very, very high, you need to find a way by which you can advise the investors to come into the markets. And our concern has always been that to increase the markets, you need to get more advisors. So what UTI has been doing in the past, as well as what we are doing now, is first to see that how can we increase the investor awareness? Because unless you increase investor awareness, you will not have increased penetration. Number two is, to have increased penetration, you need larger advisors. Just to give you a, a number, mutual funds in India, who people who have done KYD, is close to 45,000. And when you compare that with the insurance business, for example, they have more than 27 lakh insurance agents. Let's compare another category, which is the banks. There are more than 90,000 bank branches close to, which is uh, much, much more than what, you know, all the mutual funds put together have today, which is about 2,000. So especially in a country like India, which is large, you need to have many, many more people on the, on the streets selling and advising mutual funds. And we have been trying very hard to find a way by which we can attract more and more people in an economically viable way to sell mutual funds. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.